You're watching the FirearmsChannel.com. This product review video is brought to you by Vertra Systems, the higher standard in firearms training simulators. Hi, I'm Max Martin for the FirearmsChannel.com here at the Scottsdale Gun Club, the largest indoor public shooting range in the country. And with me is Joe Bridgman. Joe Bridgman is a range master here, and he is a master firearms reviewer. Joe, how are you doing today? Good, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Well, today we're talking about the AM15 M416 LE rifle made by Anderson Manufacturing out of Hebron, Kentucky. Now this particular rifle is ideal for tactical shooters, it's really good for recreational shooters, and some competitive shooters are going to like it too. Now this particular rifle is chambered in 5.56, the overall length 32 and a half inches, it has a 16 inch M4 barrel, a full length Picatinny rail, an open iron front sight, rifling 1 in 8 twist, mil spec 7075 T6 lower receiver. The weight without the magazine is 6.3 pounds. It has a muzzle brake, Phantom 556, a Magpul MOE grip and buttstock, and an MSRP of 1250. Three things I like about this rifle one is that every bit of it, head to toe, is made in the USA. Number two, it comes with a limited lifetime warranty. And number three, it has an RF-85 treatment on the rifle. And you're gonna to wanna to know more about that, so visit their website, andersonrifles.com, to learn more about it. Now, Joe, you had a chance to shoot the rifle. Give me your overall first impression. First impression was the furniture that's on this. It utilizes the Magpul grip as well as the Magpul buttstock. Just well-made company, well-made parts. Again, American made, can't go wrong with that. Got sling swivel here on the back end, so you can hook up your one, two, or three point sling on either side, and it's got a very versatile forend on it. You know, just a very well built, well solid rifle. Tell me about the design. Tell me about uh, the quality of the parts that are going into this uh, type of rifle. For a rifle in this price range, you usually don't get the nice uh, accoutrements on the rifle. This barrel is a 1 in 8 twist, which is different than the standard 1 in 9 twist. It's got a better forend on it, much more solid, much more comfortable. You don't necessarily need to put the front grip on here or rail covers because it is sm a smooth machined aluminum. So it's just an extremely versatile, comfortable rifle as a shooter. Now you had a chance to shoot it. Tell me about the accuracy. Well, seeing as it's missing a rear sight, we're lucky to get them all on the paper. No, with, with the rear sight on this thing, it's going to be able to group just fine. Now, if you did have a rear sight on there, what are some of the options? Some of the first option that everyone usually goes for is the Magpul front rear sight system. It's about $30, $40. It's plastic. For those who are a little bit higher end, they go with the Troys or a GG&G front sight, ranging from $120 to $150 for a sight. Tell me about the weight, the balance, the feel in your hand. It feels good. A lot of rifles will skeletonize the foreign to try and reduce weight, and now it's uh, heavy in the back end. This one is just uh, built nice, so the center point is nice and balanced. Tell me about the controls. Controls are very easy. It's got your standard thumb safety right there. The trigger is a uh, one-stage trigger, and it's nice and crisp. Now, what are some of the things you're looking for in an AR-style rifle? Looking for weight, looking for durability, the limited lifetime warranty is a very nice thing to also have on hand, and as well as, you know, a good muzzle brake to keep that front sight in place. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Joe Bridgman, Rangemaster here at the Scottsdale Gun Club. Well, for more information, be sure to visit andersonrifles.com. For thefirearmschannel.com, I'm Max Martin. Thanks for watching. This product review video is brought to you by Vertra Systems, the higher standard in firearms training simulators. You're watching the firearmschannel.com.